Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist and a lover of all things beauty. And here on my channel, you will find a variety of different videos, mostly related to beauty, makeup, skincare, nails, some lifestyle stuff. Pretty much anything and everything that I that intrigues me that I feel like I want to share with you guys. Um, I am a full-time mama in the corporate world and I do YouTube and partner with some brands on the side. So kind of a busy life. I Today's video is a little bit different than what I normally do. I used to do these type of videos long before I started using Saint, but when I was on Ulta, I saw some products um, from e.l.f., some new launches that kind of intrigued me. And so I figured I'd go ahead and do a video about it. It's not like I'm exclusive to Saint and I will never ever, like that's the biggest thing that I say about being transparent is I never wanna come on here and be like, oh my gosh, I only use Saint because that would be lying to you guys. There are other brands that I use and other things that I use and that's just life. I love beauty first and foremost. It doesn't matter what the brand is or anything like that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first product that I'm going to talk about today is the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. So e.l.f. already came out with a camo ver version. I don't know exactly, like camo is maybe camouflage. I'm not exactly sure. I wanna say that I did a review on it a long time ago. I'll try to go through my videos and see if I did and I'll link that below. But what intrigued me about this one is it says it's full coverage, long lasting, and it gives a dewy finish. And it's supposed to be hydrating. It has skin loving ingredients, tremella, mushroom, and hyaluronic acid. Um, it has SPF in it. Let's see, it doesn't say, oh, SPF uh, 30, and it says it's color correcting. So it's like pretty much like everything. Full coverage, long lasting, dewy finish, broad spectrum, and color correcting everything that you would need. So that is kind of what intrigued me. They also came out with a new blush. So this is their camo liquid brush blushes. I only use cream or liquid products on my face. I do not use powder aside from my eyeshadow. I do not use any setting powder. I do not use any uh, powder brushes, uh, blushes or bronzers or contour or anything like that because my face is so dry. I stick to cream and liquid blushes. So but this one is supposed to be high pigment and it says build a long lasting flush with a super pigmented liquid blush. The lightweight formula blends out to a soft dewy, uh, dewy finish that's flattering as e.l.f. So you're supposed to dab one or two dots with cheek with the applicator and blend with the liquid blush, 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 brush. Try to say that 10 times fast. I did not pick up the brushes because I think one of them was out of stock. Um, and so I was like, I don't wanna wait for it. The last thing is going to be the brow liner. So this is an instant lift brow liner. It's got a spoolie at the end. So this is supposed to be waterproof and I got it in neutral brown. They've got a, a variety of different colors. I cannot see that right there. I'm going to do my makeup real quick, kind of speed it up. I'll come on here and do kind of my first impressions of how it looked, how it looks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear this these products every single day for the next week and then come back and give my final review because sometimes with per first impressions it seems great but then maybe it doesn't wear throughout the day i also want to this morning for my first impressions i'm not going to use any primer but normally i go in with the jacqueline cosmetics oil perfecting or i don't know the oil primer she's going out of business i just picked up four more of these bad boys because i absolutely love them but um and then if i want something a little bit more mattifying not mattifying but not as dewy i go in with the mary Kay foundation primer and i like those but because i truly want to just see what the product does on its own I don't want to mix it with anything and then through the week I'll just start playing with it and see if a primer works good with it, if not, all that jazz.
So that is the full face. Obviously I need to still do my eyes and stuff like that. So we'll kind of see how it goes through today, but then also through the week. Hey friends. Okay, so I wanted to come back here and um, I actually cut out the portion of the video where I did my first impressions. And the reason for that is I felt like it was a waste of time because I there were some things that instantly I liked and then there was others that as the day wore on, I didn't. And I felt like instead of having you watch that and then me come on this part of the video and tell you what it was like for wearing it a week, it could contradict some of those things, um, which normally happens. And that's why you don't wanna watch necessarily first impression videos because they are just first impressions. Um, so I like to test something out for at least a week because I can play with it, do different methods and all that stuff. So I'm gonna cut that portion out. But I wanted to talk to you guys about the products. Um, after trying them for a whole week, I've done my makeup every single day. So I've used them for a full seven days and what I think of them. So let's start with the eyebrow pencil. I really, really like it. Um, I feel like it's really, really creamy. I love the fact that it is a point and not like an angle like some of the other ones. Um, I love the fact that it's a mechanical pencil. I love the fact that it has a spoolie on the end. Um, and I love the price point. It is very, very affordable. I really, really like this. And the one that I've been using is the Florence one. And to me, they're very similar. But again, this one's an angled one. The Elf one is a pointed one. Um, you know, obviously the same thing. The only thing I would say is this one is, the Florence one is a little bit drier, which sounds good, but I felt like this one really helped me get the flicks that I wanted. Um, with the Florence one, I a lot of times had to like, draw them in like this. This one, I just do these little flecks and I was able to get like a really natural kind of flick because the formula is a little bit creamier. I don't have to press that hard. I'm just very, very gently kind of flicking it through and I really, really like that. So that one is definitely a winner for me. If you're looking for a mechanical eye pencil, definitely check this one out because I think it is, it hits all the right things. So let's talk about the blush. Um, this one is really, really good. I do feel like it does get a little splotchy um, on certain areas. Like you can see here, it's really like when I blend it out, I feel like it just doesn't hit all the places. Um, it kind of, you know, I don't know. It's just a little splotchy. It's not horrible, but to be completely honest with you, I don't prefer it. There is a brand that I prefer better and it is Cinegent's Blush Sense. So this is not something that you can find in a drugstore. You have to actually go through a website or a distributor or maybe a distributor is not the right word, but like an influencer, if you will. Um, the lady, I will put my her information down below. She's not salesy at all. She has a ton of Instagram videos and reels and all that stuff about how to use the different products. But to me, yes, this one's more expensive than the e.l.f., but I felt like overall, especially for somebody who has mature skin, I would hands down purchase this over and over and over again. I feel like it easily blends out. I never have that patchiness and it lasts all day. And it's super travel friendly. This one's not bad, um, but literally a little bit will go a long way. It's super travel friendly and it just overall is a better product. Last but not least is the CC cream and probably the one that you guys care most about. So let's start with the things that it says that it does. It says it's full coverage, hands down, yes. I would say it is very, very full coverage. You can get medium coverage, but if you do the full pump that it originally, like the pump you can do, if you do a full one, it will definitely get you full coverage. You can kind of slow it down to get less product. So it could be medium coverage if you want it to be. I think it would be very, you would have to lose a little, little, little bit of a product to get like a sheared thing. So I do think that full coverage is it. I feel like it's very, very pretty. I feel like it's very radiant. I feel like it is, it just looks really, really pretty. It says it's long lasting. I do, I can attest to that. I felt like it did last all day. Now I still set my face with a Milani Make It Last um, original setting spray, but I do feel like it is a good, decent wear, kind of long wear product. The next is Dewy Finish. Um, I did not experience this at all. I would say that it is a more natural finish. What you're seeing right now is actually the sheen from my oil primer that I used before I put this on, 
when normally when I use this, um, it is very natural. I think it's still very pretty, but I do not feel like there was any dewiness at all. The other thing, it says it's a hydrating CC cream. I also did not experience that at all. In fact, I felt like it was the complete opposite. When I used this by itself, and then I did try it with the Mary Kay Foundation Primer, these two together, I felt like I got that stripping sensation. If you have dry skin and you ever have washed your face with soap, and then you feel like that tightness, that is kind of what I felt like. Now, what I decided to do was use my Jaclyn Cosmetics Oil Primer. She is doing an out of business sale. I picked up four more of these, so this is my five and a half bottle. Um, that's how much I love it. I use it with every single foundation, my cream foundation, my liquid foundations, and now the e.l.f. I absolutely love it. I feel like it gives that glowiness, but it also helps with hydration. So when I used these two together, I felt like I did have that glow within. I felt like my face was hydrated. I no longer had that tightness. Um, and I just, I really, really liked this combo. But this by itself, not hydrating, not dewy, no. Like I could not wear this by itself. Now I will tell you that e.l.f. I believe has an oil primer uh, that is similar to this oil primer. I don't think I've ever tried it. I think I went to go try it and then I was like, oh, I like this one so much better. But now that Jaclyn Cosmetics is going out of business, I will probably do a comparison video in case any of you are in love with this. I know I've talked about this one on my channel at nauseum, so I apologize if you, I got you hooked as well. Um, and then now they're going out of sale or out of, like they'll no longer be sold. This thing is amazing. These two together are great. This one by itself. If you have oily skin, I think this will be good. Don't let the hydrating fool you because it's not hydrating. Um, if you have very dry skin like me, I would say make sure that you find a very, very, very hydrating uh, primer in order to pair it with. Otherwise, it's just going to be slightly uncomfortable. But even with this one, it lasts all day. I feel like it's really, really pretty. I feel like it's a really good product and it has a really good price point on it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave comments below if you've tried these products, what you thought of them, if you agree, disagree. And if you have any questions, please, please leave those down below as well. The quickest way to get a hold of me is either DMing me on Instagram or emailing me, and I will have all the information down below. If you leave comments, I get a lot of comments on my YouTube videos, and sometimes it's it's there's a delay. So if you want a quick comment, follow me on Instagram, DM me there, or just send me a quick email, and then I can answer any questions that you have. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye.